All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to briefly summarize the proposed amendments to the international health regulations. This is going to be the first half of the 46-page document. We're going to cover uh, some of the important um, sections of the proposed amendments. So in these new proposals, the World Health Organization will be set up as the international health regulating authority that all states, all member states are subordinate to. They will have um, national IHR authorities in every nation. There will be like a satellite World Health Organization facility in every country that will be subordinate to the World Health Organization. They will be required to report all kinds of health activity data to the World Health Organization. Um, anytime there is a, a cold or flu or any kind of uh, health concern, they're required to report that information to the World Health Organization. Now, the World Health Organization then has the ability to use that information and to declare uh, whatever they want. It's called a fake, a, a public health concern or public health emergency of international concern. Um, and when you look at the wording, the director general can essentially declare a fake um, whenever he wants for whatever reasons. Even if he gets the information from a non-state entity. So, uh, a tattletale. So, you know, anybody that sends a tip to the World Health Organization saying, hey, there's a pandemic here, um, that information could be taken as legit and they can uh, send, literally send international teams um, on the ground to member states. The World Health Organization would then take that information and make a determination as to whether an emergency exists. And if an emergency exists, they would then be able to tell the nation where the emergency exists what they need to do to respond to that emergency. So if, they, if the World Health Organization recommends everybody gets vaccinated, if they recommend a quarantine, if they recommend gene therapies, if they recommend a certain drug, that nation where the emergency is taking place would be required to follow those recommendations. So the main thing in the first half that I'm concerned about, um, aside, aside from getting rid of individual sovereignty over your own body, is uh, the ownership, the full complete ownership of all health-related products by the World Health Organization. If, if these amendments are passed, listen and listen very carefully, carefully to what I'm saying. If these amendments are passed, all health products that are outlined in the World Health Organization, or I'm sorry, in the International Health Regulations, will be under the full control of the World Health Organization. Let me say it again. Let me say it again. All health products that you can think of, technology, uh, patents, chemicals, um, databases, teams, manufacturing processes, workforces, during a fake, if a fake is declared, all of those resources will be under the full ownership of the World Health Organization. They will be able to determine where to allocate those resources, who to take them from, who to give them to, okay? This, they, they will have the ability to ration medicine, okay, to whoever they determine needs it the most, all right? And they will be able to also take financial resources away from any of the member states 
and give it to other member states. This is nothing less than the socialization of medicine on an international scale. Um, patent rights, this is in the first, this is just in the first half. Patent rights are tossed out the, the window. Intellectual property rights will have limitations, right? So if the World Health Organization, the Director General, declares a fake, he will have rights to your intellectual property. This is going to crash the markets. Mark my words. Um, there, will, there will be no individual ownership um, of intellectual property as far as health products are concerned. Um, even health professionals would be required by the state to assist the World Health Organization. So that's the first half um, as I've seen it, I'm going to, or as I've read it, I'm going to read the other half and summarize it as best as I can for you. But if you want to read it yourself, you can go to James Roguski's Substack and download the proposed amendments on your own. So uh, quickly summarize, World Health Organization is going to be set up as a international authority regarding all things health related. They will have subordinate facilities in every country that are required to mine, to, to collect health data, right? And they are required to give that health data to the World Health Organization. The World Health, health Organization can then use that data however they want, and they can determine the, if there's a pandemic. They can force that country to do what they say essentially on how, how to shut everything down or what actions to take in order to uh, respond to that outbreak. No more intellectual property rights, no more patent rights. World Health Organization will have full ownership over every health related product that a nation possesses, even their finances. If one nation needs finances, they will get it. You know, if, if one um, pharmaceutical company has a medicine that is patented, that they own intellectual property rights to, and that medicine is needed, they would be required to provide that medicine at an affordable rate quickly so profits are not going to exist anymore um, it is not going to be profitable to own stock in pharmaceutical companies and that's the way I see it that's just halfway through you want to check me on that I'll leave screenshots to validate what I've said uh, to back up what I've said, I'll leave screenshots regarding those provisions or those proposed amendments. And uh, you decide for yourself. You decide for yourself. So I hope you got something out of part one. Uh, stand by for part two. And let me know what you think, guys. We, we have got to resist this with every fiber of our being. If we need to declare... Um, our intentions to combat this, um, so be it. Uh, we need to have a conference. We need to get as many people together to hold a public conference and make a public declaration um, resisting this out in the open so that they can see how unpopular this really is. Um, and, you know, as I said in the previous video, if they attempt to violate our sovereignty of our body um, via or at the directive of the new amendments to this IHR, then we have every right 
under natural law for self-preservation. And that includes the use of deadly force to protect ourselves. Make no mistake about it, if they want to put something in your body, you have every right under the laws of nature and under the laws of heaven to protect yourself and to defend yourself from that. They want to be able to monitor your body activity data in real time. Make no mistake, that is the goal. They want to do this. They want to give you a digital ID that monitors your body data. And they're going to try to sell it to you in any way possible, even if that includes fraudulent elections that they are responsible for, and then trying to convince you that the answer to those fraudulent elections is a biological ID, a digital ID that monitors your body activity data, that validates your biosignature. So yeah, also pay very close attention to what happens in Phoenix because this is all scripted. It's all scripted. Anyways, if you like what I do, hit like, subscribe, share, and uh, I'll catch you back for another episode. As always, don't forget, help out your neighbors.